Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the PMT function and the MPR function to work out how much you have to pay on a loan or how many payments you have to make on a loan. So this top example is using the PMT function where you can see the formula there. And the bottom example is using the NPER function, number of payments. So you can see the answer there. So I'll just recreate this formula for you. So starting off with a rate at the top, let's do 10%, type in 10%. Number of payments, 240. In fact, let's go for 300. 300. 300 months that would be. Let's say you borrowed 50,000 pounds. You want to know how many or how much that would be to pay based on that criteria. The PMT function will show you that equals PMT, open the bracket. It's asking for the rate. Now, if you don't divide that by 12, you'll get the annual rate. So I'm dividing that by 12. Then I'm doing a comma. Now it's asking for the number of payments, which is 300, comma. And then it's asking you for the, the PV, the value of whatever you've borrowed. So that's that. Close the brackets, click the tick. And based on that criteria, you have to pay four five four thirty five per month. If I put that to zero, you can see that that would be that. So to work that out, if I go equals that times one six six point six seven, see what that comes to. Okay, it comes to just about that, so there's a penny out there, but that, that works okay. So this is great if you want to work out how much you can save on a loan and things like that, or how much a loan is going to cost you. Now, the number of payment example is the NPER function. So if I just type the same information, 5% minus 500 as a payment, 32,000 as the loan, and then I'm using the N. PER function, so it's equals NPER, open the bracket. The help is asking for the rate, which is 5%. Divide it by 12, so you don't get an annual figure. Comma, now it wants the payment, which is minus 500. You're paying that. Comma, now it's asking you what the loan amount was, which is that one. You close the bracket on that, you click the tick. And it tells you how many payments, which is the same as that. Let's just round it up. So basically, that's just a quick video of how you can use the PMT function to work out what the payment on the loan would be. You can also mess about with the percentage. If there's a percentage increase, you can see the impact for your loan. And then the NPR function, NPER function, will tell you how many payments a particular loan will take. So hopefully that little video is of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.